This is foil braised corned beef, flavorful. If you boil, you lose all the flavor. I'll never boil again. Once I discovered how to uh, cook corned beef in the foil braised method, it's my go-to now. When I used to put it into a pot of water with the seasoning package, it kind of washed everything out. And so I have this new way of doing corned beef foil braising, and I'll show you how to do it. We've got um, a corned beef. This is a point. You can use a flat or a point. And what I've done is I've soaked it for 45 minutes in water just to pull some of the brine out. And you pat it dry. And I'm going to put a little bit of browning sauce on the top of this. You can see browning sauce. And we're just going to use a silicone brush and just cover the whole brisket. Okay, so I've covered it with two teaspoons of browning sauce with a silicone brush. This is um, refined coconut oil. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in. And then we're going to uh, just sear it. If you're wondering why I have my Blue Jays shirt on, I went to spring training yesterday and uh, got to sit beside the dugout and talk to some players. At the end of the video, I'll show you who I had a chance to chat with. Okay, we're gonna hit all three sides on this, just like that. You can see the color. We're just adding some color to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, this is seared on all sides. Um, I'm just gonna set it on the foil like this. Doesn't that look good already? So the briskets come with a little package of seasoning like this. And we're just gonna sprinkle that on the top and in the foil, it'll just add some really nice flavor. This is two cloves of sliced garlic and some fresh pepper. Okay, the last step is to pour all the drippings onto this, just like this, right on the top, all the oil and the, the browning sauce. So you bring up the top like this and fold it down and bring the sides up. We're gonna seal everything in. We've got a nice little package. I've preheated the grill. You can go in the oven or the grill, but we're gonna cook indirect 300 degrees for two hours. Okay, that's been exactly two hours and we'll see what it looks like now. And we're going to check and see if it's fork tender. See, I take the fork like this. Yeah, that's turning around. You can see in the down shot. Wow. Yeah, so that's, that'll take like another half hour. Now it's time to sneak in some cabbage. Put that over to the side. Onions are pretty high in carbs. I'm only gonna put a half onion in. And then I'm gonna seal this back up. So I'll put this in and I'm gonna let this go for another 30 to 40 minutes until the cabbage and the onions cooked. And let's have a look. Oh, you can see how that foil leaked too. That was a three pound corned beef. I'm gonna try and put it on here. I don't know if my pigtail will pick it up. I think it might be too tender. Yeah. See, it's fall apart. That looks delicious. I won't take this out because it's gonna be a mess, but look at how much juice is um, came out of the uh, corned beef. I'm just gonna cut it right down the center. And you can see some pictures up there too. It's not washed out when you, when you boil it. I'll never boil again, ever. But look at that. That's foil braised corned beef at its best right there. Thanks for watching. Well, we had a great day at the game. Spring training, Blue Jays and the Pirates. And um, right at the dugout, got to talk to all the players and everything. Let's check out who we saw. Did you get in there? Yeah, I'm in here. All right. All right. Yeah, Do good job. Put the team together. Can I get a picture Thank as well? You. Good. Can I get a picture as well?